Right now at 5.30, four men who were arrested for attacking a gay couple on Miami Beach will not go to jail after cutting a deal with prosecutors. That savage attack was caught on camera, but the defendants say they have realized that what they did was wrong. And they even apologized to those victims in court today. Local 10's Leanne Morahone is live to show us what happened in court. Leanne. Those apologies were part of this plea deal. They agreed to plead guilty in exchange for staying out of jail. All four suspects were in the court today as well as the victims who heard those apologies firsthand. It's been four years since this violent slur filled attack on South Beach sent a gay couple to the hospital. Today, the victims of that violence sat in the courtroom and listened as their attackers apologized in open court. I offer my sincere apologies for both of them. I know the last four and a half years have been a nightmare not only for us, but very sure for them and everybody. My actions that day do not define who I am and how I was raised. I'm thankful for the opportunity to learn from my mistakes. These acts of contrition came as part of a plea deal. Luis Alonso Piovet, Pablo Romo Figueroa, Juan Lopez and Adonis Diaz all pled guilty to two counts of battery with prejudice in exchange for five years of probation. The little mistake that you made turned into a huge, huge mistake. Among other conditions, they must also complete 200 hours of community service and undergo anger management classes. I was very happy to and relieved to put this uh, chapter behind him. This was a very, very painful case for everybody involved. The incident happened in 2018 during the Miami Beach Gay Pride Parade. According to the arrest affidavit, one of the suspects bumped into one of the victims and words were exchanged. That led to the men throwing punches and shouting gay slurs in Spanish. Rene Chalarca and Dimitri Luganov were left badly beaten. Both have since healed physically but had nothing to say after today's hearing. The state, however, did read a letter on Luganov's behalf inside the courtroom. I am taking a chance to rebuild my life, and I believe these young gentlemen have that chance too. And all four of these men must also undergo a mental health and substance abuse evaluation and receive treatment if needed. They've also been warned as part of this deal to stay away from the victims. Reporting live in Miami, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. All right, thank you for that, Leanne. We